guys ai helped me build this simple yet very functional ios app in just a few minutes this app basically recommends spotify songs and gives you advice based on your mood before building this app i did not know how to code swift swift is the programming language for most ios apps but i was able to create this app in just a few minutes with the help of ChatGPT. so if you're a beginner sit tight because this video is for you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for other similar videos i'm going to break down this video into three parts number one you need to know how to prompt ChatGPT to get the best results for building ios apps number two i'll show you how i connected free apis like the chat gpt api and the spotify api to work on this project finally i would show you how i deploy this app to my iphone to like kind of play around with it on a physical device if you're trying to build a similar project make sure you download the xcode app on your macbook and have it there every useful app ever built starts with the product design phase this is where you document how the app works and how a user is going to interact with this app. The first thing I did was document the user journey for the modify app step by step. So the app will ask you a question like, how are you feeling today? And the user would respond, I feel energetic and happy. Then the app would respond and provide you with 10 songs based on your feeling and maybe an advice attached to it as well. You want to document all this and more in detail so you can include it in your chat GPT prompt. Next, you want to think about the user interface design. How do you want this app to actually look? I wanted the app background to be a picture of my choice. I wanted a circular profile picture linking to the settings page. I wanted a heading to include a greeting that changes based on time of the day. So if it's afternoon, it says afternoon. If it's morning, it says morning. I wanted a text input box where the user can enter how they feel. Then I wanted to display a list of songs when the user clicks on the button. Without going into every single detail, the key is being as specific as possible. You want to describe every detail to the best of your ability because honestly, ChatGPT works best for those who communicate better. <laughs> Finally, you should document some general instructions on what you want the chatbot to do. Most people prompt ChatGPT with general instructions but that's not the best way to go about it. The key again is being as specific as possible. So after you have the instructions, the user journey and the UI design details, copy all the instructions and paste it into the chat GPT prompt. So you want to open the Xcode app, create your app, name the app. I named my app Modify. Then you have, then towards the left sidebar, create some new files, create the Spotify service file, create the chat GPT service file, create a landing page and a settings page. Then paste all the code from chat GPT into the respective files. Next, you want to add your background images to the Xcode folder, name the image, then put the name of the image in the placeholder of the various files. You might face some simple errors and that's okay because this is when it becomes useful to have some general programming knowledge. So I highly recommend learning some Swift basics for about 30 minutes or so before getting started. So you're better prepared to ask ChatGPT well-informed questions. You can also put your code back into ChatGPT to debug certain er errors. And that's it. You have all the bare bones for the app, but the app does not have any data yet. This brings us to part two. You have to connect to the ChatGPT and Spotify API. So go to your browser. On your browser, go to openai.com and click on text generation. You can read more on the documentation to learn more about how the API works and how to make API calls for various platforms. But for now, on the side menu, go to API keys to get a secure key to connect to the ChatGPT API. So this is kind of like the password you use to plug into the ChatGPT service to get responses for the app. So copy it and keep it somewhere safe. Next, Spotify. So access the API key for Spotify. Go to developer.spotify.com 
www.ebuyer.com. It will need you to log into a dashboard and create some app. You probably need to fill in some details. Then you will be able to access the API key. Copy the Spotify API key and keep it somewhere safe. If you need more information about the Spotify API, feel free to reference the documentation. I have the link in the description below. Also note that the Spotify API key expires every one hour. So you need to update the API key in your app every one hour to build it. Head back to your code in the Xcode app, then paste the API key for the Spotify service in the placeholder variable and place the API key for the ChatGPT service in the ChatGPT service uh, placeholder variable. Now to build and run the app, hit the play button on top of the Xcode app. Then it will open up a simulator where you can play around with the app. Hit get started. Then in the text box, enter how you feel, say you feel energetic, a mix of afro beats and hip-hop hit enter then you get a bunch of songs <laughs> these songs look familiar and all that nice you can also navigate to spotify to see the songs and to play them etc you can navigate to some more songs click on them and possibly like use it to create a playlist like a tailored playlist creation and discover new music so if you want to make a new playlist you can go to spotify and just like manually add them to a playlist it's really cool to see how your app works on an actual device i've been playing around with the app and it's just like really cool to see it on that on my iPhone. If you want to build this app on your iPhone, first go to your settings. Under privacy and security, turn on developer mode. Next, you want to connect your iPhone to your MacBook. Under Windows and the Xcode app, click on device and simulators. Then find and connect to your device. I have links to the official Apple documentation on how to do, to do this in the description below just in case you run into any issues. And there you have it. You can test and play around with the app on your phone to see how it works. I previously uploaded a video to my YouTube channel on how to how to build Android apps with ChatGPT. A lot of people thought that was cool and that's why I wanted to build this app as well. So feel free to subscribe to my channel for more similar tech projects. Although ChatGPT can provide you with the code for your app, you still need to be able to break down and describe the app in, in smaller bits for ChatGPT to understand better. Remember that the key is being as descriptive and as specific with your prompt as possible. It's also useful to like know one or two things about the language so you can easily debug issues when the, when the need arises. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe and drop a comment because that helps me make better content for you. And I will see you at my next video.